Lena Horne was the second story I had on the air at 60 Minutes. I don't know how it, it would be possible to top Lena Horne. Uh, I'd be happy for the rest of my career if I could just meet the standards uh, that I think we set with that interview. Uh, it was one of those rare and wonderful occasions where everything worked. When I talked to Lena Horne, I heard the same stories that she told over the years, but I also heard things I'd never heard before. So I knew I was getting gold because I was getting new material. Uh, and we had a rapport. Um, I, I think she trusted me. Uh, and in that trust, she allowed herself to be vulnerable uh, and to open up and expose herself. Um, and, and that was what made that such a wonderful story, was, was her willingness to be vulnerable and to talk about things that were, that were painful to her. Uh, and it was just, a, we really had a nice rapport. I mean, I, I can remember when we shot a sequence in Central Park, and when I, we had finished the interview, and, and I was walking her back to the car that was waiting to take her back to the hotel where she lived, uh, and the cameraman said, I got a great shot of you and Lena holding hands. Oh, wow. What do you mean holding hands? Uh, it, it had happened so naturally, I, it just, I wasn't even aware of it, but I was helping her across a cobblestone path, and I had her arm, and I had her hand and, and arm, and when we passed the cobblestones, we just walked hand in hand. Um, I mean, it was just a, such a natural thing to do. Um, and I had been totally unaware of it. Of course, they used it in the, <laughs> they used it in the piece. And it upset my mother, who had Lena Horne on a pedestal. And how could I, her son, be involved with Lena Horne? Because she thinks if I'm holding Lena Horne's hand, obviously we have something going. I told Lena that story, and she said, you know, I never liked young guys. <laughs> We shot her performance, uh, her one-woman show on Broadway, uh, and you know, which which gave us a, a remarkable pool of material because in her show, both in the spoken word and in her songs, she was telling her story, uh, and she was telling the story of, you know, of, of her and Hollywood, um, and and how she went to Hollywood, and and there were no roles for. Her black women uh, beyond uh, maids and subservient roles in, in Hollywood in those days. And it was very frustrating for her. Um, and uh, I mean, there was one story she told about, uh, uh, I think it was William Wyler who, who wanted to put her in a movie, but she was too fair. So they went to Max Factor and asked Max at his makeup company to to make up a, a, a foundation powder, as, as Lena put it, that would make her look more colored. And she said they did, and they put it all over Ava Gardner. Ava Gardner got the role. From that piece, you won your first Emmy. It's certainly, if it was my first Emmy, um, it, it's probably my most treasured Emmy, but not so much because it was the first, but because it was Lena.